Do you finally want to learn how to shoot? Do you finally want to make people pay for not guarding you and standing in the paint? Do you want to finally have some respect for yourself as a grown man? You need to watch this video in its entirety. You will learn how to shoot the best jump shot badges, all the tips and tricks to increase your win percent by 30%. As you see, top left of my screen you see my no squad win streak okay i do this all the time live on stream and i get stream snipe my only chance of losing okay is when i get stream snipe and someone on my team throws the game or i'm playing versus a whole squad of straight stream snipers that have been sitting in no squad just to play me and they usually lose okay y'all know how bad it is playing with the rent someone as vocal as me i go in there and straight mentally abuse my teammates straight content straight funny stuff critique everything they do you know when you do that they end up throwing the game they end up doing something crazy it gets worse so I'm I literally handicap myself and still win because I'm so miraculous and I can shoot okay please listen guys no one in this game knows how to shoot they didn't know how to shoot on 22 bro if you learn how to shoot you will have so much more fun this is very important man stop playing 2k if you don't know how to shoot take the time and learn how to shoot bro okay please this is very important man i know some of y'all might be like what is he talking about blah 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 but bro i'm telling you people don't do go play with randoms you'll see no one knows how to shoot that's 99 of the community bro this is serious this is serious bro anywho man this y'all get this video to a thousand likes and i will do a hundred dollar giveaway and yeah make sure you subscribe so look this is a new season six jump shot Y'all know Damar is a midi god, right? So this is an excellent jump shot. Here's how I got the release. It's got the A plus going. Test it out. Let me know how you feel about it. I like it. Seems very consistent. Big green window, everything. Before I continue, make sure your shot timing release time is on very late. I don't care what you say, blah, blah, blah. And do shots only. The layup stuff, bro, you better off not even having time. But look, very late. Okay, if you don't think this matters, go put it on something else than what you're used to and watch you never hit a jump. This matters. Very late will give you more consistency. By the way, this is for current gen and next gen. All these jump shots, all these timings, trust me. You can see me live play. I be playing rusty, okay? And I still be amazing. Now, this Al Horford jump shot seems like a nice spot up jump shot. This is as fast as I could get it. It seemed okay. If y'all didn't know, the slower your jump shot, the easier it is to hit with and the bigger the green window. So this seemed like something you could really green with, and you know, it's decent, right? Something you could fade with too, because the release height is low. If the release height's uh, low, I think that means faster fade, right? So you could fade with this up out the corner probably faster. I think that's true. Y'all let me know. No season six jump shot. Gordon, Dragic, he was a great player. I really miss using him in 2K, man. Y'all ever used to use Dragic? Hey, man, he was green bean, make y'all scream. But yeah, man, test this out. Let me know what you think, man. I think this is a this would be a great jump shot too. New season six jump shot. Now here's my favorite little guard build jump shot. Y'all test this out if you want. I know it's way harder to hit with. It's harder to hit with my 99.3 build. As you can see, go go look bottom right. It's harder to hit with this build than it is any big build above 6.5. Like, it's insane, right? 40 shooting badges, crazy, man. Y'all let me know if y'all notice the same thing. This jump shot right here. Great jumper, very easy to shoot with, my boy. Now, firstly, I wanna show you my main jump shot. I know that I went to current gen. It works the same on both gens, right? I want to show y'all something. This is a glitch. Listen to me. This jump shot is the best jump shot overall, right? Okay, look, I have a 92 three point on this build. I wanna show y'all this, bro. 92 three point, but the wingspan is 6'10", right? So when I try to use that jump shot, on my build that also has a 92 three point but a 67 wingspan I can't shoot it's horrible it's very inconsistent you see this also has a 92 three point but a 67 wingspan a lot of people don't know it's way easier to shoot on bigger builds even if you're right in the same speed the same whatever your wingspan dictates how hard it is for you for you to shoot for some reason small builds with small wingspans it's harder to shoot and i have figured out some tricks 
to fix that. Okay. You have to do it or you're not going to be able to shoot, bro. And this makes no sense. It's crazy. Same release timing and everything. This is the jump shot I use for this build. Okay. Now for this build, I switched it up, right? I changed the release speed to where I make the jump shot slower, you know? One tick and I get it off the A+. This way it's easier to shoot with on this 6-7 wingspan. I don't know. I don't know why the game's like this. It's broken. <laughs> Here goes another very easy jump shot to shoot with for uh, spot up builds. And you can run point with it, man. Very easy to shoot with, my boy. Test it out. Flip. Flip. Now, if you have a low three point, okay? This is a base you would like to use. I do not have a build that has a low three point. Um, you could do use different releases and actually get this release speed to A plus, okay? Um, not an A plus, but an A something for very uh, you know, this is this is nice for you low three point guys. Now look, I know this looks crazy, bro, but I'm telling you. I dropped like 60 with it in rec, man, with randoms. I'm telling you, bro. It's easy to shoot with. It meets the requirement for the A+. And for some reason, the, the, these, these jumps I'm finna show y'all for little builds, and I'm gonna show you big builds, right? Bro, for some reason, it's harder to shoot on a littler build, okay? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Y'all don't have to do this, but I'm just saying, you know, test it out. See if you can get jiggy with it. But I'm telling you, bro, you can literally use this in a game and it works. What is 2K come to? Now this one may be like the one one. Like for some reason it's stupid easy to shoot with this, with the A plus and it's like your fades is easier and it's like they, they might be a little slower, but like if you get your method down, it's really crazy you know it's it's then easy it's then just as easy to shoot as a big build for some reason every time i play when i run into someone that's a little build they can't shoot and i'm telling you this is why bro they have to you have to slow your jump shot down you have to tweak it it can't be at the max speed. It just don't work. It's broke, bro. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with the game. It's just it just don't work, bro. And I got y'all with a normal jump shot, man. You no know, very nice, smooth, easy to hit release, my boy. And make make sure y'all subscribe if you're new, man. Support your boy. Now here are some big man jump shots, bro. Um. I'm just show you the screenshot this one right here you know 610 plus if you have somewhat a high three you'll be gucci with this kd for sure you know the, the this jump shots uh, I'm, I'm hearing is very good too the david robinson base i'm hearing this base good too and this Eric base is good too. Y'all let me know y'all's favorite big man base. Let me know your favorite jump shots down below. Help people out, etc. Hey, if y'all feel like laughing, man, go watch my Pro-Am video that uh, I dropped before this. If you don't laugh, I owe you a dollar. Struggling and you can do without it, don't do it. But you notice a jump shot, like <laughs> you just notice more shots falling when you, when you buy this. You know, 2K is pay to win, bro. That, that's just how it is. I'm not telling y'all to do it. And also, if you get the Gatorades, bro, you know, they will help you because Gatorade is very important. The more stamina you have, the less your jump shot change, all this and all that, the easier it is to time it, have a more consistent jump shot instead of it going to straight RNG and you uh, guessing what jump shot is about to happen and what animation you're going to get and trying to guess this other person's animation to you it's ridiculous right but hey man also get gym rat okay um if you can't get gym rat do your drills and make sure you get three star on everything so you get a bar to your um your stamina that will help you greatly and then if you like buy two or one it'll it'll help you it'll help you get the double bar but 
again, pay to win. If you could do without it, you could do without it, man. I, I'm just letting you know how it works, my boy. Now, look, if you feel you can't hit, bro, you can turn all of this off, right? That, you know, there there's a lag delay and, um, hold on, how do I put this hole on? None. You know, instead of one of these things, because they say it adds more lag delay to your, to your guy. You know, it's a theory. It's not tested. But if you're struggling to shoot, you could test this out, bro. You can, um, like... Just do none. You know, you can test this out. It's up to you. I don't do it. But you could do none. You can, uh, you know, I use this jump shot meter. By the way, do not use jump shot meter. Only play with no meter, bro. Don't use meter, okay? Ball trail, you could put this to none. If you feel like there's just too much lag delay, test it out. See if it works for you. And also, another thing. Here's another thing people do. The shot feedback. They turn it off. I don't do this. But it's just more lag delay, like, taking off the game. You know, that's why people do stuff like this. They do something like this. They turn it on none, you know. But then you can't see people's names. But it's up to you, bro. Make sure your motion blur is off, okay? Turn it off. Get your sound effects right, man. If it's too loud, too low, get it right. I use very late. My shot type, and I have it on shots only. Um, I don't really mess with the layup thing. I make sure I have my vibration on. I like that. But it's up to y'all. Make sure you turn off your trigger effect. Too many of y'all have your trigger effect on, you old heads. I hear it through your mic, okay? I hear your, your, your controller rumbling. While you're not even touching anybody. Like, bro, it's a, it's a vibrator. It's a vibrator? Vibrator? Huh? Huh, nigga? You a grown man? You got your controller vibrating in your hand? Turn this off, bro. You got to turn it off in your PlayStation settings, too. So many people don't know this. You got your trigger effect on. It's going to mess up your shooting, bro. Spread the message. You know, these are my other settings overall. Um, I keep this on. And I keep my who to guard on. By the way, I see people keep taking off who to guard. Stop. It does not do anything. Okay? You take it off, it's not going to pull you less. Keep it on just so you're aware. Because everyone else smoke like... Smoke. And yeah, man. Here go the best badges. Hey, look. Here are the best shooting badges in general, bro. Okay? I don't have my shooting max on this build. But I'm going to just show y'all something. Agent 3s is the best badge for main ball handlers okay the best badge okay bar none it's not just fading it's not just pull-ups bro it's stopping uh pop it's everything every shot you take while like moving rhythm shooter it's all combined into this badge so if you are a main ball handler put this shit on max bar none bro okay um even catch and shoot when you're a main ball handler you want this bro because you can shoot it instantly and like even with the fade shot your catch and shoot's gonna pop up and the agent threes and then you could catch them holes even more everyone is leaving everyone open bro okay like all levels bro like especially when they think you're like drained of adrenaline and all that Catch and shoot, it, it changes your game completely, bro. Especially if you are bad, bro. Uh, amped, you know. Eh, you know, they, they say it reduces the penalty. It, it's, it's cool, bro. Um, and then Claymore, when you spot, when, when you're spotting up, you catch the ball and you wait and then you shoot. This is more for spot ups, but still, this is still a good thing for a main ball handler. You see, I got it low. And the volume shooter, I'm going to eventually max out because, you know, it helps with every shot. But limitless range, you don't even need, bro, because of the limitless takeover. I'm going to show you, bro. Look, I can keep shooting from half court with this badge, with the uh, with the damn near 7-7. Seven, seven, what, what was my three-point? Like a 76-3, bro. I can shoot from half court just with this badge on single. 
like the single takeover and you can shoot from everywhere so you can save badge points without um even having limitless on you know it's still a good badge is it works it's it's a great badge but if you have like accelerator and just limitless you can just hit from limitless so you can save badge points and be smart i got a bunch of clips bro of uh me hitting from limitless the dead eye uh, you know it, it ain't it ain't that it ain't it ain't what it used to be blinder same thing corner they say don't work some people say it do work green machine they say it activate after the third shot until I hear otherwise, so it's not really as needed. Guard up, some people say don't even work. Um, space creator, all dependent to your style. And many, but yeah, your main badges that you want is a main ball handler, agent threes, amped, catch and shoot. And then you start to, you know, the volume shooter, then the claymore, and then everything else is all dependent on you. Now for a spot up, bro. You want catch and shoot max, claymore max. I don't. I, I'm not. I'm not too. I don't. I don't. I don't know about guard up, bro. For a spot up, you could do something like this, bro. Really, for a spot up, it's really like the same badges, bro. It, it really is, cause they say uh, corner specialists don't work. It's really like the same badges, man. To be honest, now maybe uh, I don't know about this dead eye and blinders, bro. I don't know, bro. I, I haven't been made a believer. A lot of people make a lot of tweets and stuff, but I, I I just haven't seen it. You can shoot crabs. People think it's blinders. You can shoot crabs without blinders and it be OP. Like I don't think people are noticing a big difference from making it gold to uh, you know. I don't know, bro. Basically, between spot ups and um main ball handlers is you're just going to want to have claymore and catch and shoot more that's basically it bro, to, to keep it a hundred and of course these are going to be your main shit you know the catch and shoot and the claymore but you want to be able to fade and sometimes the game makes you fade so you want to have this badge on still this will be your third badge as a spot up that you will need and um Y'all be sure to follow me on Twitch, man. Link is in the description. Make sure y'all go to the gym eight days a week. Drink a gallon of water a day. And click on one of these two videos. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.